Sometimes a source column contains data that you really need to break up into smaller pieces across two or more columns. For example, a column that needs to be split into its composite elements. A bank account number or a social security number are examples of this. So I'm going to explain how to handle such eventualities where it cannot be handled by the initial data load using splitting columns. Here is another requirement that you may encounter occasionally. The data that has been imported has a column that needs to be further split into multiple columns. Imagine a text file where the columns are separated by semicolons, and these subdivisions each contain a column that holds a comma-separated list of elements. Once you have imported the file, you then need to further separate the contents of this column that uses a different delimiter. Let's import the sales data sheet into the Power Query Editor. From the Data tab, click the Table Slash Range button. Let's click inside the Invoice Number column. From the Transform ribbon, click the Split Column button. Select by delimiter in the pop-up menu. Nice! The Split Column by Delimiter dialog appears. I will select a delimiter from the list of available options or I will select Custom. Let's select Space because I want to separate the date with the time. And it will split at each occurrence of the delimiter. Click OK. Split Column by Delimiter will appear in the Applied Steps list. As you can see, the initial column is replaced and all the new columns are named Invoice Day 1 and Invoice Day 2. Let's do quickly another example, but this time we will use a custom delimiter. I will highlight the invoice number column, and as you already figured, I will separate it into five parts. In the Transform ribbon, click the Split Column button, select by delimiter in the pop-up menu, and the Split Column by Delimiter dialog appears. Select Custom from the list of available. Enter a hyphen in the new box and click at each occurrence of the delimiter. Click OK. Now how cool is that? Another variant on this theme is when the text in each column is a fixed number of characters and needs to be broken down into constituent parts at each specific interval. Suppose, for instance, that you have a field where each group contains a certain number of characters and has a specific meaning, and you want to break it down into multiple columns. Alternatively, suppose that you want to extract the leftmost or rightmost amount of characters and leave the rest. A bank account or social security number are examples of this. This is where splitting a column by the number of characters can come in handy, as the principle is smaller to the process you just saw. I will not repeat the whole thing again. All you have to do is choose the By Number of Characters menu option in the previous exercise. Now, I want to put a disclaimer here. You can split columns only if they are text data. The split column button remains grayed out if your initiation is to try and split a date or numeric column.